Thank you for joining me this afternoon, and uh, we're reading from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And in our last session, I, I had made mention to the fact that in verse 17, it says that if any man be in Messiah, he is a new creature. And uh, the, the reality of our redemption, the reality of our righteousness that we have partaken of, and I've, I've done a number of teachings on the fact is that uh, the moment that someone puts their faith and trust in the Messiah, they're not just forgiven sinners, but if you've truly done it from the heart, and I'm not talking about some kind of uh, intellectual experience or intellectual acknowledgement of the Savior. I'm talking about a, a, something that's from the heart, and that, that means it's a, it's a true commitment of all your, your will, your, your affection, your whole devotion is toward him. And the moment that a person truly believes and has done, done that, made a commitment to him, um, that the, the moment that you believe on him whom he has sent, then the Father then has promised to give us the gift of the set-apart spirit, the Ruach Hakades, the set-apart spirit. And so once that happens, once you are born again, and this is really what it means to be born again, is to, to actually take on a new nature, to take on the divine nature. And we, you don't do that by your own works of righteousness, which we have done, but it's according to Yahuwah's mercy that he saved us. And uh, that's why the scripture says over in the book of Ephesians, it says, for by grace or favor are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. In other words, it's not your own actions, your good deeds, your... Uh, your, 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 you just, your good actions that you performed uh, has done anything to have anything to do with you being born again. It has to do with your faith and trust in the Messiah, recognizing that you cannot be justified before Yahuwah in your own works, and that you need a Savior. We all need a Savior. The scripture says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory or the esteem of Yahuwah. And that is because we, before uh someone is, has been born of the Ruach HaKadosh, he is literally a child of the devil. You, you and I, the Bible says in Ephesians that, chapter 2, that we were by nature children of wrath even as others. In other words, it was our nature to act like a sinner. You know, people sin because, not because they, uh, people are sinners not because they sin, they sin because they're sinners. In other words, it's their nature to act like the devil. And so that's why when, when a person b b will deal with the truth and the reality that he is a sinner and that he needs a Savior because only through the, the work of the Holy Spirit or the Ruach HaKadosh can that change someone's heart. That's why it says in verse 17 here in 2 Corinthians that if any man be in Messiah, he is a new creature. It doesn't say that he's just a forgiven creature. He is a new creature, and that's because the there's been a transformation. There's been a, a new birth that's taken place, and that has given you and I life. We were once spiritually dead, but now we have life. <laughs> he that has the Son has life. He that has not the Son of Yahuwah has not life. And so this is the, 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 what the Scripture uh, has to say about redemption, that you and I need a Savior. And the only way that you can be saved is by believing on the Messiah, put your faith and trust in him, and uh, receiving his forgiveness. And, um, and because you believe that, then the spirit, the Ruach, can be given to you. But it only can be given to you once you put your faith and trust in him. May these words help you today, encourage you. Please share this with others. Shalom.